Let's find the absolute maximum and minimum of cosine x plus sine x on the interval 0 to pi. As always, to find the absolute maximum and minimum, we'll start by finding critical points. So we'll take a first derivative, and we'll set that derivative equal to 0, and we'll also notice that this first derivative is always defined. We can move sine x to this side of the equation, and we can solve for x by considering where sine of x equals cosine of x, or we could divide both sides by, say, cosine, and that would give us tangent of x equals 1. Either way we solve this, we have to have some knowledge of our unit circle. Tangent of x equals 1 when x equals pi over 4, and also 5 pi over 4, and so on. But the only value of x in the interval 0 to pi, where tangent of x equals 1, is just pi over 4. So that's going to be our critical point right there. Now we're going to take our critical point and our endpoints and plug them into the original function. And let's see what we get. Cosine of 0 plus sine of 0. We need to remember that cosine of 0 is 1, sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of pi over 4 and sine of pi over 4 are both the square root of 2 over 2. Adding two of those together is going to give us just the square root of 2. Cosine of pi is negative 1, while sine of pi is 0. So of these, the smallest value is negative 1, and the largest value that we have here is the square root of 2, which is about 1.41. So the absolute minimum of this function on the given interval is negative 1, and it occurs when x equals pi. And the absolute maximum of the function is the square root of 2, and that occurs when x equals pi over 4.